at its worst. There was a time where I couldn't even raise my arms past this point. And sitting, just like I'm sitting now, would be excruciating. Hillary Sweet had successful breast cancer treatment in 2000, but it led to years of debilitating pain for this wife and mother. With the help of pain specialist Pat Brokenthal, Sweet finally found a combination of treatments that help. Oh my gosh, it's, I feel like I have my life back. But many don't get relief, and Mount Sinai Medical School's Andreas Butler says some patients with advanced cancer cannot tolerate the side effects of large doses of narcotics like morphine. So they are often in, in a very difficult situation of choosing um, to feel free of side effects or to control their pain. Believing gene therapy could be the key, Butler designed a gene that tells nerve cells to release natural pain-killing proteins. He used the gene to treat nerve cells in the spinal cords of rats that are sensitive to even mild pressure. He wrote in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that the animal showed no signs of pain for as long as three months. Although clinical trials in people are years away, he is hopeful. We developed a gene therapy that can be easily applied, potentially in the future, in a bedside procedure. A procedure he hopes could give people back at least some of what pain takes away. I'm Sunita Reed. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I don't say it enough. <laughs>